H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Sessions. I'm going to start the Selenium WebDriver. The API used for doing cross-browser testing and for doing functional testing. It's one of the tools present in the Selenium suit. So we'll look at the different features of Selenium WebDriver starting from this particular session. So let's look at uh, the agenda for this particular session. So first, we're going to see the evolution of the Selenium suit of tools as a whole. Now, way back in 2006 uh, onwards, the Selenium 1.0 web was launched. And Selenium 1.0 web consisted of your uh, Selenium IDE, which is basically nothing but a record and playback tool used with Firefox browsers. It is actually an add-on of Firefox browsers. So apart from IDE, the Selenium 1.0 web suit consisted of Selenium RC. The RC was used to run the scripts made with ID or scripts made in Selenium RC with different browsers apart from Firefox. And the third tool present in this particular suit was called as Grid. The Grid is basically used for doing parallel testing over a distributed network. During the course of time, because of the drawbacks of RC, the Selenium 2.0 web suit was launched. This was launched in 2010 and it consisted of uh, ID. So that means ID was retained in Selenium 2.0 web suit. And it's basically a record and playback tool as I mentioned earlier. It works in the add-on of Firefox browser. So whatever scripts you make and whatever scripts you actually playback gets only recorded and playback in the Firefox browser. It cannot record and playback in any other browsers apart from Firefox. And that is one of the major disadvantages of ID. But as a whole, since a lot of manual testers uh, were jumping towards automation and it was difficult for manual testers to actually learn the scripting from the very, very core level, the ID was retained in 2.0 web so that at least the manual tester would have the advantage of doing a record and playback of the of the scenarios that they want to automate apart from id in 2.0 web suit the selenium web driver api came into force the selenium web driver came into force in selenium 2.0 web suit because of the disadvantages of the selenium RC in 1.0 web suit. Uh, the major disadvantages were particularly in the RC server having to start the uh, RC server every time you want to automate your transactions or automate your manual process. It also had a disadvantage of maintaining suits. It also had the disadvantages of your creating reports. So all these uh, factors were actually refactored when Selenium RC was replaced by Selenium WebDriver API in Selenium 2.0 web suit. And Selenium WebDriver is also able to play back the scripts made with Selenium RC. So that problematic behavior or that uh, problem or that particular situation raised by teams or companies who had made their scripts in RC was solved because Selenium web driver would be able to run your selenium rc scripts and plus selenium uh, web driver is also able to run selenium id created scripts that means whatever scripts we had created in id would be also possible to run in selenium web driver after doing a conversion of the selenium id scripts into java or perl or php or c sharp etc along with this the selenium 2.0 web also had selenium grid so selenium grid was actually retained in selenium 2.0 web suit 
and basically it is used for parallel testing over a distributed network during the course of time uh, the selenium there were a lot of releases of the 2.0 version of the selenium and the last version of selenium 2 series was launched uh, sometime back in uh, april or may may if i am not wrong and the last version of 2 2 series was 2.53.1 in the month of august 2016 the selenium guys launched the 3 series it's called the selenium 3.0 web in 3.0 web they have retained id for record and playback over firefox browser and they have also retained selenium web driver api and retained selenium crit as a whole the difference between selenium 2.0 web and selenium 3.0 web suit is that in selenium web driver they have removed the selenium 3.0 web series actually or, or rather the selenium 3.0 web suit has retained selenium web driver but the stuff is that in selenium web driver present in selenium 3.0 web suit it does not support firefox that means it does not maintain and support firefox as it used to do in selenium 2.0 web or selenium 1.0 web for running scripts using selenium web driver present in selenium 3.0 web suit we need to pinpoint to the exe of the firefox that means since there is no direct support of firefox in selenium 3.0 web suit now like our chrome or ie browser we need to pinpoint the exe of firefox that is the first major change and we look at this particular change uh, later on when we do some practicals the second thing is that the selenium 3.0 suit or 3.0 web suit has removed support for rc so that is the evolution of selenium as a whole 